There was a mayor in Atlanta named Maynard Jackson. When he took mayorship, this is what he said. He couldn't find one African-American architecture firm at that time. So one African-American architect, 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 architect. So did y'all want to go into this Kenya Barris thing or what was y'all trying to do? So he got a show coming out called Black AF. And actually, the show, the uh, house that we're looking at is where the show was shot. Oh, all right. Actually, and that's actually his house. Let's dig in, man. First reaction, folks, off this first look. Um, I, I, I kind of like it. I have no complaints about what I see right now. Indoor, outdoor access, the lighting. What are we thinking of this, this huge element that's above that seating area on the far left? It looks like, I don't know if that's supposed to be a lighting element or if that's just a decorative. Heat. That might be a heater. I wonder if it's a heater. That's kind of big to be a heater for that small space. What kind of heater you talking about, man? One of them um, infrared joints. Yeah, I don't think they need that heater in LA. No, I it mean, gets cold. Remember we were out there? I know, but in, that, but in that small area, I don't know. That's this main garage. entrance. Yeah, you got two garages, one on the right, one on the left. I mean, it's got the standard issue kit apart, so it's like on target with what today's design aesthetic is Go ahead, horizontal dude. vertical lines mm -hmm. in um places outside of new york um specifically la the level of um transparency the facades have like mm -hmm. no that's what i'm saying like i think all that is part of the interaction of how you approach a, a space or or a building because this in my mind it's like my guards can be down like, like at your villa or something yeah like we we all good nothing's gonna happen here because you know you can see everything but that's probably not the case you, yeah. you come to these places you have like about a 200 foot front yard um, okay. but nah but, it, but, <laughs> there, but there's houses that don't have that expansive use of space like that i think part of that is that defensible space idea and then also again you're talking about someone who's in an urban fabric where it's like you're up on each other your proximity of, of with your neighbors is very different so someone can look eye to eye into a space or from the street you can see what's going on here that's not the understanding the understanding is that transparency is because you're going to be able to engage with space outside um without any fear of someone breaking in any fear of your surroundings that's very different Here's the other thing to note. I was reading. It's completely walled and gated. Oh, you yeah. Ain't, you ain't getting... Yeah, that defensible <laughs> space you mentioned. That's, that's, that's different. Space. This is the other side of the pool. That space on the right, that's the back of the garage, right? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of interesting. You got to showcase your you cars. You see the here. car in there? <laughs> you have to showcase them. Where you put your showpiece. You got that Eames chair upstairs looking down. I see that. <laughs> that might be the master bedroom. Those doors yeah. look awkward, yeah. though, with no frames. I mean, not, <laughs> they not do. frames, but no trim. That's got to be a, a retractable. Yeah, you see the yeah, track, the track on the floor. The track. The, the track on the floor, too. Yeah. That's cool that it opens up because this is the back side of. Is the kitchen on this side? Yeah. I yeah, think so. behind that wall. Yeah, on that corner, I think these chairs Those go. Are the kitchen chairs. Yep. And it looks better from this angle because it looks like it ties into something. But now we see that ball above. That's just a decorative ball. Decorative element. Mm hmm. I don't know about this this patio furniture though. I was saying that before with the table, the other one in the other view. It looked like that was the last piece. They, they didn't had. put much thought into that one. Yeah, because if one's been at the pool, look like they're a completely Even, different category. What side like of the house building? is this? It nah, like this is the same building. building. This is it the looks most like an afterthought. The most this is like the guest house. Yeah. It's the back of the house. <laughs> the it's, most it's, neglected part of the house, it looks like. There's not even a nice window over there. And don't yeah. open up that door while I'm playing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so this is right. That's the front entry. Now that's the floating stair they're talking about. Two stairs. One in the back, man. It's very clean. Consistent color scheme. Consistent, like, um, like lighting, light fixtures. As soon as I remember when this design of a stair with that platform base started to show up in workplace. That little spine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We all use my, the spine, too. The spine, too. Yeah. <laughs> the central stringer. The spine stringer. <laughs> the table looks like a fold-up table you see at your um your picnic. Yeah, yeah, the Domino's a, table. The them Domino's gold, table. Gold leg. I wasn't feeling that light fixture, either. You saw that light fixture? It looks like a transformer light fixture. Did someone say those doors are um baby pocket doors? I don't know. I've never seen those done right with without the, the trim. 
pocket doors are very hard to maintain and most likely the ones that actually work best are from the old world the new shit they do it doesn't really work that well yeah nah it usually it usually works when the material's the same so that it, that's it looks like it's hidden yeah that's why i think barn doors are became more popular because the pocket doors they just the maintenance they're, they're never yeah the construction is always off yeah yeah, that thick, that thing is also that vanity. That, that mm. white faucet, the black, and a black line down. The, what is that? Like a drawer? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think it's the white is white drawer. The white drawers are too. It's a mirror, but it has metal, metal, thin metal oh. shelving in the it. Doors open. You can yeah. see the reflection. But yeah, that's the door in the background. But you can see that it sort of, I think it goes through the mirror of some sort, or it's attached to the mirror. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Me um, neither. It's a bad choice, that's all. Because <laughs> <laughs> the refrigerator looks dope if that's the refrigerator. Yeah, it, gotta it, be. Is. it gotta be. Where else would the refrigerator go? That's it. It has to be. That's it. <laughs> Butler's pantry home. This is a Rasmus part. It's the bar. <laughs> <laughs> they got that right. Here, they got this hanging fixture, and that's a little bit industrial. Same thing with in the kitchen. The, they're hanging fixtures in industrial with all this modern, all these modern features around it. So this is the theater room. Aha! Uh -huh. those light fixtures though. You see these light fixtures? No, I told you that. That's what I was saying. What? Like I don't know what's going on with the light fixtures. This is the first room we've seen with a different color other than black, gray, or uh, white. And they got the red cushions. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm just just making note. That other image, it looked like the sofas were. I thought they were built in. So these is just sofa chairs. Yeah, they could have they they could have designed the seating a little better. That's probably why we have this empty space on top because they ain't put the furniture there yet. Oh, yeah, there was more seating. It's more order. floors than seating. Y'all already talk about these light, these wall sconces. And, Yo, B, we, I don't know what else to say about them, man. <laughs> trying to figure out this design. It reminds me of, uh, what's that album cover that Beyonce had where she got like that gold? Oh, like, yeah. Tassel yeah. top thing. Like, is this the Beyonce <laughs> tassel top room? This is one of the narrowest theater rooms I've seen in these homes. I don't, I don't mind the, the size There's of the a room. Stuff. What, what's the concept typically to a screening room? Is it that you have as much room on each side of the chair as possible? Well, the concept is, number one, line you of wanna... sight, two, acoustics, right. three, comfort, four is the capacity. How many people are going to be in there? This is why interior designers make money, because people have no idea what they're doing. Yo, you this ain't lying. This is understated room, though. Put it this way. If you were to take these elements out and the pillows out, you were like, what am I paying for? There's nothing here. Nah, yeah. it's, it's nah, you got some light fixtures. Don't forget about the light like, fixtures. You could have put that wall on the other side of the wine. Totally. Somewhere. And recessed the fucking wine and the wall, the, the thin room. Exactly. You, yeah. you could have made the room asymmetrical. You only need one way down. So only when you exactly. only time you need wine, you got to go into the theater room when you need wine? <laughs> yeah, so you coming in, you interrupting anything that could be going right. on. I like the stairs. The ones on both sides? Well, yeah. You only need one side. <laughs> I think so too. I would have used that area for a lot. I mean, something a little bit more. Uh, whatever. Well, I mean, what in that top? Well, there yeah. or on each side. You could have designed I mean, the room better at the than, top. Yeah. Or I'm, you know what? Or you know what? Put a bar at the top. Go full, like go yeah. popcorn or something. It. Yeah, exactly. There's another crazy light fixture on those sconce. Like this here. Yeah. It's funny how we just throw recess lights anywhere and just be like, put some like that's the. The ultimate, like, let's just put something up there because we don't really pay attention to lighting anymore. Because mm -hmm. that room looked like crazy with like it's over lit. Yeah, it's yeah. over lit. Yeah, it's over lit. There's a way, 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 way too many recess lights. You don't need that much lighting in your bedroom. This light fixture. What the? This is the closet. Like a, looks like a floss closet. light picture. The best light in a closet is actually sunlight. Yeah. That's the only way you can really see what something is. Y'all remember where it had that um, little vertical piece that went horizontally over and it had some windows off to the side? I was wondering what was uh, what, that's what on you're that talking other about, side. Steve. You're talking about by the pool, by the yeah, meditation by the, pool? Yeah, yep. Yeah, that strip. I think that's what that, that, out that window. You see this uh, right here? The window. the second floor, yeah. The window's right there. Yeah. So this is the bathroom. Got, oh, so they do got a little trim on these doors. They on do, these right. doors. The other right. ones, I don't think had it. The first it, little ones, yeah, I don't, I, I didn't see it. It still looked nasty though. That fixture over that dining area that we talking about, that black joint, is mm -hmm. changing every time. 
Yeah, because it's it's a it's a now like it's, a orb now. Now it's yeah. transparent too. Yeah, it's transparent. And, it's tra- and it's transparent now. Well, it was transparent in that other one. It looked like it was sort of like um, thatch, not thatch, but some sort of um, weave. Organic, yeah. Weave, yeah. I like the 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 landscaping until you get back. Damn. Your favorite part right here. Yeah. No, that can't be. That's <laughs> not part of that house, bro. Yeah, it is, man. It is, man. It's on the show. There's too. no reason for them to it's have on the, that photo. It's on man. the show. It's on the show. And I thought it was off. And I was like, yo, what the hell's going on? Except the garbage can. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly right. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The garbage yo, what's can. Up with the sloping toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the camera angle is mad crazy. That room is like five by five. Wait, what is that? A pool house? Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Nah, I think that's the other side of that garage. That's what we think. Yeah. I oh, think that's, that's oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so that's the entrance coming from yeah. there. That is. That's that the is. back yeah. of the, that's the front of the car. So you see the front of that. Yeah. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So this is. Oh, that's another bedroom. With the mattress standing up. That's the same room we saw before. <laughs> that seriously <laughs> looks like a mattress. That's a little different. We're going to go super size mattress. Yo. That's the same <laughs> room. Let's not find out there's a big window behind the mattress. That is the same room. <laughs> you got a clear <laughs> story right there. <laughs> is it that or the mattress is blocking no, the other window? It ain't a clear story. It's a clear story now. It's a clear story there's now. No frame around. Take that joint up there. Get some duct tape. Yo, yeah. what's up with the light fixtures, <laughs> Yo, someone got a catalog and just picked everything. <laughs> Yo. Yo, they went ahead with this light fixture. It's like they took they took turtle shell and leftover coach bags and made this light fiction. You you really can't understand because they use the the wide angle lenses, so these rooms are much smaller. Absolutely. Yeah. No, nah, we got that. That I mean that makes the sink look even more crazy. That makes that light fixture even more crazy. <laughs> yeah. exactly. And it comes down. That light fixture is about five feet from the floor. Yeah, that it's would drive me crazy. Cool. Me and you hitting our head, man. That like, level should be right around here. Nico's hitting his head on that. <laughs> yeah. That's his outdoor cooking area. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, this view actually makes sense then. Yeah. We, never, we never saw that grill. Even we got a seating on the columns too. You see that? For your drunk friend. Hey, that's next my seat. Grill. What you talking about? That's my seat. You know. <laughs> <Your seat>? <laughs> <laughs> this got to be the master. Yeah, that's for sure. This is the room with that stand up. That's the thing. same room. Yep. Mm-hmm. Is that crazy closet? Yeah. That's the closet. That's the his and hers. That's what it is. That's not the same closet. No, nah, it's the his. This is the his. This is the his. Oh. The other one was the hers. Yeah, because the other one had the jury case. So overall, the crib is cool, but they they missed a few points. The house has nice flow and circulation. Um, got the his and hers shower going. Oh, yeah, with the waterfall. What are those black things? I'm not familiar with those. I think that might be lights. Lights again? Or <laughs> they better not be oh lights, God. y'all. They better not be lights. Those are lights, man. Why does this bathroom need to be this size? I think the tub is what's throwing us off. I agree with you. Make this smaller, or yeah, take up less space and give it to the closets. It felt like the vanity dictated the size of that room. They wanted to center it with those windows. If they did that, then why didn't they have a proportional tub? Actually, bruh, this is not a sink. Those aren't sinks? No. Look, this is that storage there, that storage there. Oh, you're right. But then I have a crazy light fix in the middle of this. Even with that, even with yeah, the placement yeah, of that. This is literally <laughs> the perfect place for the perfect that. place. Actually, that's where it should be. Thank you. That would make sense. No, they what? put it in the shower. What? The light fixture? <laughs> they put it in the shower. Right over there. <laughs> the shower. <laughs> Yo, nobody's going to fucking like us when these are over. <laughs> that shower is a feature. Yeah. Move that bathtub. Like, move that. Yeah, like, that bathtub should not be there. Even That's if you put it, even if you, s- yeah, even if you center it in the room, I need that shower to breathe. You know, we come from this place where we have very small um, room to work and get it right. And so when I look at these spaces, I don't mind having a large or oversized room, but it still should make sense. I mean, I, I like the, the natural landscape, um, the backdrop of the little forest, little rainforest in the back. I, I think they did a good job on the design of the, the facade of this house, but they just... They missed they the details. The yeah, they, they, they missed the a, they missed a lot of details. They, they forgot a facade. One thing to note that they said that the house is completely camera ready. Funny thing, most of these things are fixable, probably. 
Mm-hmm. They had some strategy. Yo, we're going to have mad light, fun lights, eclectic lights, um, lights that don't make sense, but we're going to have lights. Yeah, but the color rating is a different thing. You can't, you can't match the sun. No. They, they paid attention to mm-hmm. natural lighting. Not really, but, but in terms of the openness. Yeah, there's a lot of natural lighting throughout. You know, it's amazing how, like, us just going through this exercise and it didn't take much just to pick out just certain details that didn't or did make sense. Maybe there is an explanation for some of the things that we pointed out, but average consumer is not seeing any of those things. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to see them lights, though. But they're going to like those lights. That's the problem. <laughs> Rasmus right. is dark. You don't think he realizes he's had a couple, a couple of drinks. Yeah. Rasmus. Well, you can call it the dark, whatever. It just how the house now. I can see shit, so I'm good. <laughs> Another one under the belt. <clears throat> yeah. 